what's going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So in today's video, I just want to do a quick recap and kind of show you guys how the yard is looking a week after I put down my Q4 Plus, my fungicide, and sprayed some of that uh, Bermuda in the back with the glyphosate. And I just want to go over some of the spots of the yard that really, really look good from getting sprayed and show you guys the results of the spray. And today I'm going to go ahead and start mowing a little bit lower. So I'm going to get down to three inches out here. So I'm going to take the front and the backyard down to three inches while I'm out here today and kind of talk about how to get your yard lower for your overseed. How some people say you have to bag it and how I don't have a bagger. So I just do it in sections and let it die and talk about the steps that we're going to take right before our air and overseed for this year. But I'm walking over here to the edge of the yard right against the pavement where a lot of crabgrass and weeds and stuff always tend to come in just because the pavement gets so hot that it burns out the rest of the grass. And the only thing that likes to grow is weeds and crabgrass when it gets that hot right up against the pavement. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys that. All right, so you can see right here, I definitely missed this patch. It's completely green, but you can see the yellowing out starting to take effect all the way around the outside edge of the yard. So there's another green spot I missed. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the section of the yard where the tank started sputtering on me that last half gallon And as I was spraying this section up here I was really just kind of shaking the wand trying to get some of the product out and of course I missed a little bit So I'm gonna go over that with another little application here in the next couple days Because I'm actually gonna be going around and spraying a couple more yards and getting those prepared for our air rate and overseed for the year as well But right now with all of that stuff taking effect Like I say the plan for the next couple weeks is gonna be to mow it lower and lower Today is going to be three inches. I'm going to mow it again in probably three or four days. Take it down to two and three quarters, maybe two and a half, and slowly just come down until about the until about the second or third week of September when we do the aerate and overseed. But with that, I'm just going to set the camera up and film a little mow down, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. guys so that is it for this scalp down i started mowing and completely forgot to move the camera to the backyard so you guys didn't even get to see me mow any of this but here is how the backyard's looking right now mowed down at three inches so it's actually greener than the fescue in the front just because i've been mowing the fescue at four inches and i've kept the backyard from three to three and a half throughout the whole year so it's not as stressed out when i mow it down into the three inch section I do expect to see some browning out on the back once I start getting closer into the twos. But here is the hill that I sprayed where all the Bermuda was and a lot of the crabgrass and stuff that have been growing up and it is almost completely bare. So a lot of these Bermuda sprouts you can see now are beautiful and crispy. But you can see, look at that runner. I mean, that's insane how quickly Bermuda just takes over like that. So I'm glad that I caught it when I did because now hopefully that will take care of what little sprigs that were left from last year that made it through. And hopefully I don't have any trouble with it. Like I say, once I get the Kentucky bluegrass in nice and thick, it will combat that Bermuda and kind of just squish it out where it won't be able to grow. But overall, everything is still looking good. Our time frame is still right on track. So I am super excited right now. The next thing you're gonna see us do most likely is going to be getting a mini excavator to get the little trees in the backyard, those two Japanese maples and those Eastern red buds. So that's really my next project with the yard so that I can go ahead and level out all the spots where the trees are gonna get removed. And then we'll do the aerate and overseed after that. But with that, I hope you guys like this video. And again, if you wanna see the transformation of this yard, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and definitely like the video because it helps spread these videos all across YouTube so that more people can watch them. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.